Well, it's another Tuesday in Red Dead Online, and patience is certainly wearing thin for many of the people waiting for the summer update. This morning, Rockstar tweeted out the same newswire that was released last week, outlining the updates that we would have last week and this week, and a lot of people expressed a ton of frustration in the tweets, and I do understand why a lot of people are frustrated waiting for the summer update, but at the end of the day, it does take a very long time to create content, let alone good content, and if the summer update holds up to what it's seeming to be like, it's definitely going to be worth the wait. But I do understand the frustration, and I'm there with you. I've pretty much stopped playing Red Dead Online, because I don't want to get burnt out, and I want to get into the summer update with a nice fresh look and excitement for the game that I've always had. Now, regardless of the frustrations around the newswire being retweeted this week and no new content being added to Red Dead Online, the bonuses we do have are actually pretty good. And I will go over all of that in a second, but I do want to say that this is a really strong indicator of the summer update releasing very soon, especially in conjunction with some of the other things that are coming to a head. I do believe that the summer update is going to drop on the 20th, and at the very latest, the 27th, but if I were a betting man, I would be placing my money on the 20th being the update. There's a lot of really good indicators that show that it's going to be coming out very soon, and I do anticipate Rockstar doing another Newswire this week outlining the summer update, and quite possibly a trailer, unless they're saving the trailer for the um, announcement just before Gamescom. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the Monday just before Gamescom, uh, Take-Two Interactive is going to be announcing various titles and things throughout the company, and the summer update could be one of those things, saying that it's going to be releasing the next day, which could create a ton of hype, and all the people covering Gamescom will cover that, so it'll really create a nice narrative for the summer update, and I do anticipate that's going to be what's happening. Now, for those of you wondering what is available in Red Dead Online this week, it is exactly what we had last week. But if you missed my update video from last week, I'm going to go over this really quick. There are some things that you're going to want to take advantage here, like the 30% XP and money bonus to the Land of Opportunities missions, which can actually be really lucrative if you can do them quickly and get a lot of the kills. Unfortunately, when you're playing as a group, you're going to be splitting up the kills amongst yourselves. But if you're one of those that can kill everybody really quickly and get all the XP for your itself is going to be a pretty good opportunity for you to get some money and some XP, but it's really about the XP. The money in this method isn't particularly great, but the XP can be really, really good. We also have some clothing items that have been added back to the catalog in Red Dead Online. None of these are new and they've been available for quite some time, but they have come back in limited stock or officially added to the catalog, and that is the Owengila hat, the Concho pants, the Caro jacket, and the Clemaine coat. We also have some vests that have been reduced in their level requirements. So any of the vests that were available for above rank 31 are now available to those that are rank 30. And the vests that typically required ranks 11 through 29 are currently reduced to rank 10. So if there's any of those high level vests that you want, you, sh you can be able to get them now without having to pay gold for them. And then we do have some discounts on weapons too. We've got a 25% discount off the Double Action Revolver and the Springfield Rifle. And local fences are offering 50% off hatchets and cleavers this week. Now you have until the end of this week to be able to get those bonuses. And by the end of this week, I mean you have until Monday of next week. So you have until the 19th. So as you can see, definitely a lackluster update for last week, let alone extending that for two weeks. I definitely think it would have been a good idea to add some stuff on top of that this week that they could have easily incorporated, like XP or gold or money bonuses or a bunch of different things across the board. While the player base that has been playing since the beta has a ton of stuff already and that might not get them excited into playing anymore, there is a, a large new player base that has been getting into the game in preparation for the summer update, and I do think it would have been a really great move to provide those XP bonuses maybe for posse and stranger missions and things like that. Just add a lot of the XP and money-making bonuses to get that new player base that's experiencing, quite frankly, the worst version of Red Dead Online and uh, where it's basically just filled with a player base that's extremely bored, volatile, and prone to trolling. And it's really unfortunate that the new player base has to experience that. So providing them with some bonuses and XP and money would have been really nice. And then obviously everybody else could have taken advantage of that as well. 
Now, I am extremely excited for the future of Red Dead Online, and quite frankly, I'm more excited now for Red Dead Online than I've ever been. And that's why I'm trying to take a little bit of a step back and go into the summer update with a fresh look, because things are going to be changing dramatically from here on out, especially with the way that Rockstar is really leaning towards trying to incorporate a lot of these single-player stuff and bring in more RP capabilities and really trying to allow you to be able to ingrain yourself in your character and in the world. The way the game is looking from here on out is going to be really great. Now, one thing that everyone is going to need to remember is that the jobs that are being introduced is really only going to be the foundation of what's to come in Red Dead Online for the future. We've kind of got the foundation of uh, of like the open world and how the game is right now, and then we're going to have the foundation for where things are going to go into the future, along with some gameplay style changes and stuff like that, and balancing and different mechanics, which I'm really excited about. Um, but regardless, the future for Red Dead Online is looking really good. And if you guys do want to get excited for the future, feel free to check out my video on the Games Radar article or check out that article for yourself. Uh, there's a lot of really great information in there, and you can really tell that they're putting a ton of work into Red Dead Online. And for those of you wondering why we don't have more content, it really does take a ton of time to make content, let alone good content. Good content takes a lot of work and a lot of time. And if they can really nail getting some of those single player experiences into the online environment, it could be really groundbreaking for Red Dead Online. And especially if we can get these jobs to take off and slowly grow our characters into the future and like going from a trader at your camp to eventually owning a railroad or a storefront in Saint Denis or another town, it's gonna be a really great experience to have that nice slow growth into becoming like the big badass that you get to be in GTA Online, but actually getting to experience the whole trajectory of that is going to be a lot of fun in my opinion. I'm really looking forward to Red Dead Online in the future, but this is just a quick update video to let you guys know what's going on with Red Dead Online. I know there's really been no new content, but there are some things to take advantage of if you missed out on them last week, if you still need to level up or still need some money. Um, but I hope this did alleviate some of your frustrations with Red Dead Online right now. I was trying to add some perspective to what might be going on with the summer update and why we're not getting any content. And I do believe that's because we're going to be getting the summer update very soon and they're focusing all of their efforts on making sure that it gets out on time and not being a buggy, complete disaster. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Love having conversations with all of you, so I will be responding to comments and stuff like that. So if you guys feel like having a discussion or venting your frustrations, feel free to leave a comment down below.